What's good, y'all? It's the Black Horse. Look, man. Now, look. Let me say this shit, man. Like, I did a video earlier today on Anthony Joshua doing this uh, interview on The Breakfast Club. And one thing I would say is that I didn't have no problem with the interview. I think that, uh, get out of my camera. Move, move, move. This nigga, man, is a hater. You know, I, I honestly feel like um, AJ, that was a good interview. I feel like Charlemagne asked some good questions. I just see a, uh, I don't even know why this came on my timeline. I said, some said, nigga, don't, don't watch it. Because you know good and well the nigga is going to be dick pulling. And he only going to take up with a dark skin nigga. I'm Team Bomb Squad. But nothing in that interview told me that Anthony Joshua is a, the most afraid man in the heavyweight division. I mean, the dude said pretty much all the right things. He took, he took, um, held himself responsible for the fight not being made, even though they disagreed on terms. Um, he stated that if he can't get Wilder or Fury, that he's willing to face Ortiz. And I'm like, nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. See, this isn't about, uh, when I'm looking at this boxing shit, I'm not looking at it from a standpoint of America versus UK. Of course, I'm going to root for the American fighter, but I'm not going to be fake, though. And that's the thing about it. What I notice a lot of these channels and why they lose so much credibility. These niggas are just being fake out here. Just can't keep it real for nothing. You know, I mean, I was even the president. Anthony Joshua said, hey. I don't think that uh, Wilder and Fury are uh, afraid, but he says, I think that they want the uh, biggest payday with the low risk. You know, I've been stated that on the PBC side, they want to fight low risk fights with a big payday. You know, um, now Wilder, I can't really put Wilder too much in that category um, because he has been in his last two fights, he fought tough fights. But PBC as a whole, yes. So maybe we could disagree on Joshua saying that. But he's doing all the right things now. He's going to the media platforms. He's making his rounds. Um, people are getting to know who he is. And I think certain channels, man, they built their channel so much on a few select fighters that they favor that they can't even keep it real no more, man. Their fake shit got to stop, man. But, you know, I don't think these fake niggas will stop. Because they are building their whole platform off race shit. America over everybody. Blacks over everybody. Man, this is boxing, man. So I'm not watching the sport over who is blacker so I can support them. That shit is stupid to me, man. Because you're going to make it, make yourself look like an ass out here when... Deontay Wilder or another black fighter start getting on some suit and tie type of shit and, and don't want to actually step in the ring and uh, give the fans what they want to see. And then you're going to be defending them looking stupid. So, um, <laughs> I can go on and on about this shit, man. But it's just like, man, dudes take time out of their day just to hate on somebody. I don't even like Anthony Joshua like that, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to be fake, though. Uh, I didn't see nothing fearful about AJ in that interview. Um, the dude is coming to America. He's about to fight Gerald Miller. I don't think Gerald, Gerald Miller is a soft touch. He's an undefeated fighter. So I think a lot of these channels, a lot of these people are just mad that AJ is actually doing what a lot of people wanted him to do in the first place, which is uh, step up, come to America, and... Um, Hey, man, he's making his move. So this is a power move. This is a power move coming to America, facing Gerald Miller in his, back, in his backyard. He's going to get a lot of fans from this um, because the American market is the big stage. He's going to get a lot of fans for this, you know. And um, but you, you, you fraud ass niggas, man, stop hating, dog. Stop hating. Keep this shit a hundred, man. Damn.